Hello dear students, welcome to Exeomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2018. We are here with this problem 13 of your paper. This problem 13 is a problem of analysis. So let us firstly have a look. Let an is equal to n plus 1 by n. Then the sum of the series. So we have the series and uh, we, what we have to do, we have to find out the sum. So let us begin by just writing your sum in the form of S. So S is your sum and this is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1 an plus 1 by n factorial. This is your S. Alright. Now see this an plus 1 can be written by using this formula. So I will write that. So what you will get, you will get minus 1 to the power n plus 1, n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 1 by n factorial. What I have done, I am just using this identity in order to write your series properly. Are you getting my point? Now the first step is to break this LCM. Alright, so you will get summation 1 to infinity minus 1 to the power n plus 1. Then you will get n plus 1 by n factorial plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial. Are you getting my point? So if you will take this on this part, you will get this. And if you will take this part, then what you will get? n plus 1 into n factorial. So that is actually n plus 1 factorial. So this is the basic mathematics. Now let us break it from here also. Why I am doing this all this uh, LCM breaking thing? I will tell you. You have 1 to infinity uh, minus 1 to the power n plus 1. So what you have here? Firstly see you will get 1 by n minus 1 factorial from this part. Then you will get 1 by n factorial. Then you will get 1 by n plus 1 factorial. Are you getting my point or not? So this is what uh, is your S. Now let us proceed. I will, what I will do, I will just partition this with every term here. Uh, I should write, okay, everything is fine. So you are getting this. Why I want everything to be in this format? Alright, so because of the sum Taylor expansion you already know. So it's a pretty well famous Taylor expansion that I will be using now. I will tell you in a moment why I am doing all of this. 1 to infinity. Uh, 1 to infinity. Now see what do you know about Taylor expansion of e to the power x. It is equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial x cubed by 3 factorial. Alright, this is what you know from your first year or you can say differential calculus course, the Taylor expansion. This works for x belongs to r. Now what happens if I just place x is equal to minus 1? Then you will get 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 5 uh, sorry 1 by 4 and then you will get minus 1 by 5 and so on all right now this is pretty similar to this one how let us see s is equal to c if you will place n is equal to 1 what you will get you will get 1 all right if you will place n is equal to 2 you will get minus 1 if you will place n is equal to 3, you will get plus 1 by 2 factorial. That means this expression, if you will expand this in your mind, this expression is exactly like this. So you can replace this with e to the power minus 1. Now for this expression, what I will do, I will just take your minus 1 common out of it. n is equal to 1 to infinity. Now see, if you will place n is equal to 1, you will get minus 1. If you will place n is equal to 2, you will get plus 1 by 2. 
that means this expression is same after this after this term everything is exactly like this expression so this part is not included so this value will be its value will be what uh, e to the power minus 1 minus 1 now you have this n plus 1 factorial thing all right so just place n is equal to 1 you will get 1 by uh, sorry uh, yeah, 1 by 2 factorial then you will get minus 1 by 3 factorial then you will get 1 by 5 factorial so what you are getting here you are getting things from here to here all right that means this expression was also not included in this part but what what is what is important in this expression that it's actually zero so the value of this thing is also what the value of this thing minus 1 to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial is nothing else it's e to the power minus 1 so finally what you are getting you are getting 1 plus e to the power minus 1 as your answer so this is how you can solve this question okay if you are doing it yourself i'm, I'm trying to explain everything that's why i'm taking time but if you are doing you can solve this question in two more than just two minutes okay i will say so finally d is your correct answer so thank you